All right, everyone, welcome inside the Virtual Media Center here at the LPGA MediHeal Championship. I am happy to be joined with now hopefully a much warmer Matilda Castron. Matilda, I just want to start off. This was such a nerve-wracking day. I just want to know your mindset heading in to your first final grouping of your LPGA Tour career. Well, I uh, was definitely nervous. So my mindset was just going in with um, thinking one shot at a time, one hole at a time and uh, see what happens and just try to enjoy um, enjoy the day because uh, it was my first first time in the final group and um, yeah I just it was I thought it was great for experience no matter what happened and um, it just turned out I had a great day on the course and uh, got the trophy. <laughs> you had a phenomenal front nine just take me through what was going through your mind when you had that consecutive birdie streak and then that eagle. Yeah, um, I, it was a little bit unexpected. I, I was just trying to hit fairways and tried to hit greens, trying to make some good swings and hit good putts. So I was just I was staying really patient, and that paid off. And uh, on that par five, I had a really good number for my hybrid, and I knew if I hit it, hit a good shot, it would be perfect. And um, it turned out maybe. Uh, five feet from the hole and I made the putt and that just um, gave me kind of like really good energy going in and um, um, I figured I have a chance to win. It, I feel as if it really solidified your momentum heading into the rest of your holes. You had some incredible par saves on 10 and 11. How much do you think those really helped kind of settle any nerves or your mindset as you continued through? I mean, it, it helped a lot, uh, gave me some momentum making those important par saves. Um, if I if I had maybe missed one or two, it maybe, I don't know, um, could have put some bad thoughts in my mind, but I knew I was putting it great and uh, made those putts, so that was a really good feeling. Once again, if you have any questions for Matilda, please let me know in the chat function so I can call on you to unmute. But also, Matilda, as we got to the 18, you know, what was going through your mind as this is one of the first times I feel like you've been in this situation on the LPGA Tour? Mm -hmm. I was very nervous. I knew I had a two-shot lead, and uh, Min was uh, by the green with two shots, and I knew... I knew she had a chance to make eagle, so I, I was just telling myself, okay, you gotta birdie this to, to win. So I hit a great shot uh, three feet from the hole and made the putt. I know uh, you were quite emotional on the green with Kay Cockrell. Mm -hmm. uh, just what were some of the immediate feelings and new th thoughts you had as you made your final putt today? It was just hard to grasp it and hard to believe. And uh, it's just, it's, it's been a dream of mine to win since I was a little girl and um, to see it happen and and just to win it's it's such an amazing feeling there's nothing that compares to it and um, one of my thoughts was well I don't have to go to Q school this fall because <laughs> it's always a little bit uh, stressful as a rookie you have to kind of um, earn your spot on tour and uh, yeah, it's definitely a huge weight off my shoulders. <laughs> you were, you know, you are a rookie. You are in just your 15th start, I think I heard from Golf Channel. Mm -hmm. Just what does it mean to you to be able to pull out um, a victory like on a course like Lake Merced and also to become the first Finnish player in the history of the LPGA to Tour to do so? I'm, I'm just very proud of myself, how I handled today, uh, my mindset going in. I thought it was... Uh, I have matured a lot in the past couple of years, and uh, to be okay at the beginning of the round, whatever happened today was going to be fine with me. So that put me in a really good mindset and kind of took the pressure off because I knew it was just going to be a great day, uh, no matter what happened in the end. But it's, it's a huge honor to be uh, a winner as a rookie, and especially first one from Finland. It's, it's a really, really big honor. Uh, a couple questions from Beth Ann. For one, you said on the green that you didn't really think that this moment would happen this early. Mm -hmm. What were your goals coming into this year and last year as an LPGA Tour rookie? Well, last year it gave me a really good uh, opportunity to kind of practice and, and see what the courses are like and see what the tour is about. And um, I, I thought I did pretty well last year. And obviously this year was a little bit more pressure with um, – like the status can change whether however you play so 
in the beginning of the year, I was kind of thinking, okay, well, I need to keep my card. And I was going over some goals with my coaches and they, they um, always tell me to aim higher. And I was like, okay, I want to be top 60 this year. I want to go to Asia. I want to do that last swing. And um, yeah, it's just, I'm one step closer to that goal. So I'm very happy. I would think a win is definitely uh, one step closer. COVID-19 was a crazy year for you as a mm -hmm. 2020 rookie. How do you think you've matured since your first start here on the LPGA Tour? Uh, that year, it gave me a lot of um, a lot of good opportunities to see where my game is at. And I had a couple good finishes. So it kind of gave me peace of mind going into this year. And uh, I, I, I knew I could I could do it and I could play out here. And uh, this year, just I kind of realized this is where I want to be, and uh, I want my game to be good enough to win out here. And like I said, it's it's been a dream of mine since a little girl winning on tour. And I didn't think it was gonna happen today or so early, uh, but I always knew one day I'm gonna be a winner. What do you think? You, we come into this stretch of two incredible golf courses like Olympic Club and Lake Merced. What had you been working on recently that you think really got you to this spot? Uh, recently, I've been working a lot on my short game and putting. I played in Kings Mill and I, I felt like my putting wasn't where I wanted it to be. I was hitting a lot of greens and I was hitting a lot of fairways. So I knew that was going to be um, that was going to be good at, at the U.S. Open, at the Olympic, but I needed to I needed to improve my putting, and I worked on that on my off week after Kings Mill, and um, I felt like my game was a little bit closer to where I wanted it to be at the the U.S. Open, and it was that was a great prep week for this this event. Uh, the course is kind of similar. Uh, obviously, the roughs are not as high here, but the course is is similar with the hills and the trees and the fog and the wind so it was a great preparation for this week and um, today it kind of all came together tell us a little bit about kind of golf back in Finland mm -hmm. uh, what do you think a win like this does you know especially as you prepare for potentially the Olympic Games yeah I hope it uh, inspires a lot of the younger girls to reach for their reach for their goals and um, just aim high um, the sky is the limit I I mean, I think I'm a perfect example of that. Um, I'm the first one to win from Finland, and um, I bet a lot of people didn't think it was possible, and I had my doubts myself too, but I just want to send a message that anything is possible and just to reach for your, your goals. Did you have, before you started today, did any family or friends back in Finland say that they would be watching? Yes. <laughs> Who was watching? Uh, I think... A lot of people couldn't sleep tonight because <laughs> I teed off, I think, one in the morning, Finland time. So oh, so we had some people <laughs> pulling all-nighters back in Finland. I think so. I I can't say for sure, but I know my coach for sure wasn't, wasn't sleeping tonight, and uh, I don't think my parents either could sleep. So, yeah, I think it was a, a really big night for them. Who was your coach back in Finland? Uh, his name is Petter Inuku. He was here last week for the U.S. Open. Oh, and so he went back to Finland. Yeah, he just left on Monday. Oh, he missed. What a great week he missed. I know. <laughs> uh, I know you haven't been able to check your phone in a little bit. We've mm -hmm. kind of been a little busy. Yeah. Um, but did you? what did it mean to see some other LPGA Tour players, uh, you know, coming and celebrating with you on the green, some mm -hmm. friends of yours on tour? I know we don't usually have a lot of fans out here through COVID. And what did that mean to you? It's really nice. It's a really nice feeling to have people come and uh, – Put some champagne and water in you. Uh, I've always looked at those videos of other winners and um, thought thought of myself in that moment. And uh, I mean, it was an, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe, but yeah, it's just amazing. <laughs> You are the fourth Rolex first time winner of the season. I know you just saw the Rolex over there, okay. but just how much does that just fill you with pride and how satisfied are you with that, uh, knowing that you've been able to turn around a win so quickly? I, yeah, I, I didn't think it was going to happen this soon. So I'm, I'm just incredibly happy and uh, it's just such a relief for me. And um, I'm so excited to what's coming next. All right. 
Zach is coming. Matilda, you know, back in 2018, you were at stage one. In 2019, <laughs> you were at stage two. Yeah. You know, we always hear from players how much work you put in. And mm -hmm. But what, for you, what went into the transformation of going from those points in your career to finding the winner's circle less than two years later? Um, yeah, I mean, 2018 was definitely not the best year of my career, but I learned so much going through that time and kind of struggling a lot with my game. And um, the two years on Symmetra really gave me an opportunity to work on my work on my game and um, like give me an opportunity to compete and and just mature. Uh, I think. If I had started out here, I probably wouldn't have done that great. Uh, those two years just gave me an opportunity to learn more about myself, learn more about the, the tours, and uh, learn more about my game. So that was, it was not a fun experience when I was going through it, but I definitely learned a lot from it. And one more from me before we wrap it up here. Mm -hmm. You win today on the LPGA Tour. We had another Seminole win on the Symmetra Tour, your friend Morgan, who mm -hmm. you played with. It's looking good for FSU today. Yeah, it's great. I didn't know she won until someone told me, but I'm super happy for her, and uh, I know it's just the beginning for her. I hope she's going to join me next year here. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Matilda. I know we have to go fast, but thank you and congratulations. Thank you.